fellow Toasties, especially Jack. I'll tell you, I am just so impressed on how quickly you matriculate through these manuals, Jack. You have finished yet another one. Congratulations. <laughs> Jack's objectives today were to tell a folk tale that is entertaining and enjoyable for a specific age group. And Jack pointed out that he had originally geared this towards, I believe, junior high, high school age, but it was appropriate for all ages. It certainly was a great tale for adults. Mm -hmm. His second object objective was to use vivid imagery and voice to tell and enhance, to enhance the tale. And Jack communicated to me that that was really his focus of the speech, was to focus on the imagery, to focus on the voice. And I think you certainly did a fantastic job of, of choosing a story that had this great imagery to it. And I certainly was picturing in my head the elephants and the elaborate bowls and the bags and the whole parade of images that you had going throughout the story. I did also like your use of voice when you spoke about the guards saying, halt, thief, and you had a little more inflection in your volume there, and um, that the times when you broke up the rhythm I thought was particularly effective. I, this story was a little challenging too, and I want to acknowledge that the, the guide makes it clear that you are not supposed to act out the story. You have to tell the story. And I think Jack was focusing um, on not being overly dramatic like the guy tells you to do. But there were times when I thought you could have probably used a little bit more of the stage because you really were planted here. And even through telling, uh, particularly in the beginning, I thought that it might have been a little bit more attention grabbing to, to use some more natural gestures and to perhaps use a little bit more of your stage when walking around, uh, but I understand how you didn't want to overly uh, dramatize the story that you were trying to tell. There, There is one distracting movement, I think, that you risk when you are just planted is that because you're not moving, anything your body's doing is sort of distracting us. So that was something I noticed, and, and as soon as you started using a little more natural gestures, that I was paying much more attention to what you were saying and all of the great volume and the great inflection that you had. Uh, overall, I thought it was, again, a fantastic story. I really liked the way you presented the images. I really liked when you emphasized some of the voices and when you, just the way that you chose and uh, communicated the story to all of us. So thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs>